care. Do you think they could save a buck? Who knows? If you got an answer to that, let me know. Send me an email. Shoot me a question. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of this. I know watching me take apart a laptop must be fun. Sarcasm, sarcasm, people. So I'm trying to get this connector off the board. I think I got a hairline fracture in my tail pick. It's not good. That's what happens when you have yeast dental picks. They used to get old. Probably a reason the dentist said, oh, take them. <laughs> I don't need that anymore. Seriously, give your dentist a call or next time you're in his office and go, hey, you got any old dental picks I could get from you? Sometimes they'll want to charge you because they know people need them. It's just another way for them to make a little bit extra money. Uh, sometimes they'll give them to you for free. Either way, it's a good deal. There we go. I had to use my fingernails. <clears throat> That was probably power for the. Uh, thing, the um, trackpad. This is another zero insertion force connector. Looks like this one flips up. No, nope, I stand corrected. This one slides out. use my fingernails on this one because there's so so much stuff around it. I can use my dental pick and kind of slide it out. Up. Connector for the fans for their power. Got a screw here. looks like this plastic piece that goes here goes right under the CPU fan fans I think it's pretty stupid But don't let's take my opinion on it. Da dun dun. I bet y'all younger kids aren't going to get that if they watch this. Go on, sing with me. I, shit, I forgot the freaking lyrics to it. Just. Sing the Reading Rainbow song in your head. Something about flying twice as high. Da 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 Little triangles next to all the screws to hold the board in place. This is good. Because when you're this far and uh, taking a computer apart, you're going to have a lot of screw holes. You're not going to know if there's supposed to be a screw there now or is it going to be a screw there later? You're going to have no idea. So when I see something like this, I'm enthusiastic. Aesthetic. This means they actually thought about the fact that somebody has to take this damn thing apart at some point in time to work on it. 
like some other freaking idiots, e-machines, who have 20-some odd screws, all different sizes, in the same area, with no indicator where they're going to go. Okay, we got all these little connectors, we got all the little extra screws. Another screw there, another screw there, another triangle there. Let's go ahead and take care of the heat sink. Heat sinks are usually numbered. Uh, one to four, usually four screws. Simple thing to remember, you don't have to necessarily put them in, in that order or take them out in that order. But you want to do diagonal. If you take one out the bottom left corner, you're going to take the one to the top right corner next. Then the uh, did I say top left? bottom left, top right, top left, bottom right. Basically, crisscross. That way, you provide equal pressure <coughs> on the processor and the board so you don't break it. Some of these will come out. They are spring-loaded. Not really sure why they spring-load them. I guess it's just to help prevent people from over-tightening them. I actually want to set this guy right back in here. There's usually no problem with these. Rolling around or Anything like that. You saw the one where I took apart an e-machine. You would know that e-machines did some pretty stupid stuff where they had a screw and a screw on the processor heatsink. It was probably one of the dumbest designs I've ever seen. This guy should should come out, but it doesn't. Let's see any reason for the stick. All the screws are free. Screws remaining. Hmm. Seems. Like it's 